Greetings everyone and welcome to another latest mix set build videos for mods around the world. Today's build will be diving into using the heavy bone horn 3 hunting horn and creating quite a fantastic damage set that utilizes Diablo's 2 piece bonus, its songs and also its chaos effects and is great for using in team play or generally solo play. Today's set is called the bludgeoner build. So the heavy bone horn 3 is a rare d6 hunting horn which comes at an attack level of 798, a average sharpness amount no affinity, but has a hidden element built into it. One level 3 dual slot, a plus 10 defense, and 3 augmentation slots. This weapon, and the 40 most your hunting horn, is what I would like to say is a great starter hunting horn if you ever wanted to go straight into learning how to play around with them. As this weapon requires little to no investment in terms of needing important materials, and the songs are pretty strong for starters that meld well together for allowing you to keep your damage uptime at an all time high while also allowing you to simultaneously keep your buffs high for you or your team. Now of course many of you here will hear about how going with the Basil, Devil Joe, Luna, Xeno or Luna Nerge Honeycorn is a much better investment compared to the other two because of their overall stats being outright better and the damage being quite godly. But these weapons for a new player is not worth getting into just of yet until you understand the main core basics of the weapon. So you can rest easy knowing that if you can't use the hunting horn at all now, then you can come back to it at a later date. You know, for the fact that these two weapons, or just this weapon on its own, is actually worth using in endgame content. And with this build, I'll show you how to make full use of it. So in terms of comparing today's weapon, you'll see that this weapon, although lacking in certain areas, actually shares some of the higher end and lucrative songs that most of the best higher tier hunting horns have which offers a alternative if you don't have the higher tier hunting horns like the few I mentioned before. For example, the Heavy Bone Horn 3 has some of the following songs. Self Improvement, Attack Up Small, Scout Fly Power Up, Muck Resistance, Environmental Damage Negated and Earplug Small. Now out of the 6 songs, only 3 of the songs are actually considered viable in fights such as the Self Improvement, Attack Up Small and Earplug Small. The other 3 being 50-50 as there's not much use as using these skills as they have rare moments of actually being used and to be honest, you, you rarely need them at all. The only time you actually activate them is if you're in combat and you just need to combo your attacks onto a monster effectively. Now let's go ahead and compare it to two other Hunter Horns that have similar stats to the Heavy Bone Horn 3. We have the Gamma Horn 2 with similar stats and an attack level of 796 and the Fortimosio Hunter Horn with similar stats with an attack level of 756. So you can generally see that the attack damage is relatively near the same or round in the same area. But if you notice one thing, these weapons have some of the very best song buffs that Deep Vero, Basil Rook Slayer and Xena Luna Hunting Horn possess, which instantly tells you that the lack of good stats can be made up easily with the songs buffs they possess. But this only goes so far for a few of the Hunting Horns. So with that thought in mind and how I'm going to go ahead and build around this weapon to make it kind of near or on top of the Deep Vale Hunting Horn, which is considered one of the best Hunting Horns in game, I decided around creating a bludgeoner set with our Bone Hunting Horn and putting in high damage and KO effects, but also combining the Diablo's bludgeoner skill and the Hunting Horn's self-improvement song to create an even more powerful set that is on par to Deep Vero for its general shield power. The build in mind isn't dual heavy as you can get the following jewels from farming tier 2 or 3 monsters and armor used can be easily configured if you don't have some of the following gear, although all of my gear except from the boots can be easily gotten in game from just farming. So here are the following skills used. I have attack boost 5 to increase a weapon's raw damage, I chose not to add in something like critical eye since our affinity is already high enough, and although attack boost 4 is enough I decided to add on another just to fill in the empty spots and increase the damage. Next we have weakness exploit 3 for the extra 50% affinity damage upon monsters weak points. Slugger 3 to allow us to increase our chances to KO monsters more often which works really well against monsters with easy access heads, plus the amount of damage you do as well to head area is also a bonus so it's generally working out for you really well. Next we have Maximum Might 3 to increase our affinity levels by plus 30, Health Boost 2 to increase our base health by plus 30, although I place this here simply because I wanted to fill this spot in but having Health Boost 2 is actually quite good when you think about it as it will allow you to fight certain monsters such as Teostra or Lunastra more aggressively without worrying so much about your health depleting so quickly. But like always change it if you don't agree with this, 
but I'm not I'm not entirely sure what you could change this for, since the slot levels are kind of limited for the build. Next, we have Wide Range 2, which is part of the Lunastra Gloves, and is great when playing in groups, as you can kill others that might not be reactive enough to healing or such. God knows why. Next, we have Resentment 1. Okay, so this skill is part of the Black Diablos Waste, and that level 1 isn't that great for the buff damage you receive, as it's really small, I believe it's only plus 5. However, this doesn't matter as I'm only using the Black Diablo's Waste for the dual slot and for the two piece armor skill activation. You may want to change this armor piece if you find something better, but still gives you the two piece armor skill. But I chose to stick with this instead because, really, armor wise, I have all the general skills there. And I think going with this rather than going with the Diablo's Gloves or Diablo's Helmet is much more better. But I do advise you to play around and see if you could create something much more better than this that has generally the same stats. Next we have Flinch 3 1. And once again, this skill isn't needed at all as I had a free level 3 dual slot available. And I couldn't for the life of me find a dual that would best suit the build as I generally have all the skills I need. So I will personally leave this up to you. But personally Flinch 3 1 is probably your best choice to go with simply because if you're going to use it in a multiplayer or just solo, it's still going to help out one way or another. Then we have non-elemental boost 1, which will provide a large boost to our weapon's main raw, but at the expense of not unlocking our weapon's hidden element, which is no biggie because we're not going to unlock our weapon's hidden element. And then lastly we have 2 piece Diablo's bonus, bludgeon skill, which gives us a damage boost when our sharpness reaches below blue, so it starts to kick in when at green sharpness, and then you get another boost at orange and yellow and then lastly at red, but you shouldn't really be hitting red sharpness at all. Overall, this build will give you an attack rating of 1004, 45% affinity for our weapon and 413 defense. I also forgot to mention that our weapon, the Heavy Bone Horn 3, is augmented with a health and affinity org and leaves you with a free augment slot. So if you want to, you could add in another affinity org to max out your affinity. So you can actually max out to be at 100 affinity if you want to. Or you could go with a attack org for another small boost in damage. Or even a health boost is entirely up to you at this point. But I would probably say go with a, another affinity org slot. So you can max it out to 100 just for that small increase in damage. This build, once completed, is an absolute powerhouse of taking on any monster you face with good songs, strong damage, and effective defense. Meaning, you can even use this to take on arc tempered or just tempered monsters on your own or genuine groups. Now, the bludgeon skill for our gear will kick in the moment I hit green sharpness, hence why I haven't gone with using a sharp or handicraft, charm or jewel. So, you're going to get a further buff when you hit yellow, orange, etc., like I said before. So, by all means, do not add in a sharp and do not for the love of god add in a handicraft the whole point of this is to use the bludgeon skill all the way as much as possible so you can receive that small damage buff and keep attacking the monster and then all you need to do is play the self-improvement song so that you can basically keep going on and on and on so if you don't understand what i mean basically it removes the little sharpness modifier and gives you an extra boost in damage to compensate for being reckless and further losing out on damage so really, you don't want to be sharpening at all your weapon until you start to bounce on monsters. But that's where the self-improvement song comes in. This song will give you mind's eye once played for a set duration. So you can really make use of the weapon's little sharpness threshold and carry on attacking a monster even when they're on sharpness. Although for many, that might be a tad too much to handle as usually for me at some time, sometimes when I hit yellow or orange, I get tempted to go ahead and sharpen my weapon because I'm so used to using green sharpness, white sharpness, or even blue sharpness. So the moment you hit yellow sharpness, you think, okay, I'm not gonna be doing a lot of damage. But to be honest, when you hit yellow sharpness, the amount of damage you do is literally on par to you doing green damage. And then orange damage will be around on par to green, to maybe green yellowish damage. But the good thing is you're still doing good damage. You're gonna be hitting around the 50s, the 60s, the 70s, etc. As long as you're hitting monsters weak points, you're going to be doing good. And as long as you have the self-improvement song active, you won't be able to bounce on the monster. So really, you could play as aggressive as you want. And it won't matter what sharpness level you're at. Although, I haven't tested this out when gone down to red sharpness. Because that's something I believe that it hits a limit. To where the damage you do just doesn't feel that good anymore. So if I was you, I would say stick to around yellow sharpness. And then maybe orange sharpness, but don't hit 
red shot on this. But I don't think that really matters because I don't believe you're going to be hitting red shot on this at all with this build. Because you generally kill the monster by time then. So overall, you have a build that will give you high damage through songs and continuous attacks. High KO effect on every monster you face. And a relatively simple set that can carry you through to end game if you wish. Completely customizable. Great for using in group play. And honestly, if you're someone that wants to use a build that is suitable for a newer player, this is one that you could go ahead and use. Although, like I said before, the only downside you're probably going to have with this is using the boots. Because the boots is an event item. So if you don't have the event item, it's going to be quite hard to customize around it. But I'm sure that if you play around with it, or even better, if you want me to help you out, then I'm willing to help you out as best as possible. Just leave a message in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you with a viable set. So that comes to the end of the content. If you enjoy the content then do leave a like, a sub and also do press that bell button to stay always updated when I upload. As I would appreciate a lot if you do. But like always thanks for watching and I hope to see you all again soon.